Hi, this is Mark Holcomb from Periphery and Haunted Shores, and this is my 7-string SE signature model. Discussions for the 7 came about years before, you know, because Periphery has always been a 7-string band, you know, ever since our first record, we've been playing, you know, I want to say half 6-string and half 7-string songs. It's just such a mainstay in our set, so I remember back early in the days with, with PRS, the idea for it uh, came not long after the 6-string. It was kind of just a matter of, you know, let's do an SE model, let's do an SE model. And we finally pulled that off years later. That was just the most exciting thing in the world to me, to blend that sort of like classic PRS attention and detail with the sort of modern aspects of a seven string. Um, to, to, to sort of marry those two things together was really exciting. It's just a really natural um, evolution of the guitar from a six to a seven. We carried over most of the core aspects from uh, the SE6. Uh, everything from the fretboard radius, string through body, bridge, satin neck, pickup configuration, um, switching electronics, all that. The one main difference is the 26 and a half inch scale length, and that's a whole inch longer than the 25 and a half inch. Um, and the reason for that is just because we experiment with all kinds of ridiculous tunings with periphery. This guitar ships in BEA DGBE, so I guess standard tuning for a seven string. I, however, tune it down a half step, and additionally, I take the seven string and I tune it down an additional whole step. So what you have is drop A flat. Basically like your drop D tuning, except your floor is the, is the A flat. The scale length holds perfectly. Uh, at this 26 and a half inch scale length. You can easily go for a longer scale length, but you lose, you know, you lose comfort. And your frets start to feel like, you know, hopscotch squares. And it's taken me years to sort of realize that this is where sort of the ultimate balance lies. For the pickups here, we have, uh, once again, seven string alpha and omega pickups by Seymour Duncan. Just like the six string, uh, the goal was to make these as pissed off and angry as possible while still having an abundance of, uh, of clarity and, and sort of articulation. Electronics wise, uh, we have our coil split push pull here. I urge you, if you have this guitar, to try it out. I've met a lot of people who've had this guitar for years and they haven't yet tried that configuration. Middle position, pull this out and put on a clean channel and just kind of see what comes out, put some reverb delay on there. And uh, I don't know, it's, it's like some of the most uh, goosebump inducing moments I've had uh, just noodling out, you know? So a recent addition uh, to this guitar as well as a six is the shallow violin carve uh, to this guitar, to the top here. And uh, one, it's aesthetically really damn cool. <laughs> and uh, it also feels really comfortable. Color has always been very important. It's like a, you know, the color of your car or the color of the clothes you, it says a lot about you as a person. Maybe I'm reading too much into that as far as guitars go. I, I've always liked purple, but I've always been into dark colors, like for things to look kind of evil and kind of metal. And, and again, that's where the original Holcomb Burst, brisket burst color came from. That's the staple. That's, that's the you know, trademark look of this guitar from day one. And this walnut version here, uh, it was kind of meant to be a direct contrast to the original a little bit more natural, um, a different kind of look. It's still kind of stealthy and dark and, and metal looking for, for lack of a better word, but uh, we just wanted to have a different kind of version out there, a different look um, in case people weren't a fan of the original color. This guitar has been the workhorse of my seven string lineup. Uh, every show, every show for the past, uh, I wanna say five, six years, maybe more, because we prototyped this guitar way before it came out to the public, so, um, so yeah, every night it's just the sturdiest, most reliable thing. This, between this and the six string uh, SE model I play on stage, it just feels like, you know, pure consistency. Like I'm at home every night playing, 
playing this thing. So yeah, I, at this point, I can't really play anything else on stage. I'm, I'm so kind of spoiled when it comes to this thing. Credit to all the PRS players out there and all the fans who, who demanded it from the beginning, who, you know, who voiced their opinions. And when this thing finally dropped, I remember the response being uh, just so humbling. You know, it, it, it's a, uh, it was something I wanted for so long and to see the level of excitement out there for the seven once it came out was, uh, it was just awesome, you know, like stuff of dreams.